<laughs> Yo! Video games. Yeah, it just looks like, so, I mean, essentially, it's just Aliens Fireteam without the hugely cumbersome issue of it being three players. Yeah, and it's yeah, having, yeah, like, split up our sessions with each other yeah. and well, each a, other up. Yeah, yeah, well, that's yeah. also more, like, guided in, in, in sort of, like, there's a story levels. This is Lost Planet. I was gonna say that, I um... It. This is very much Lost Planet. The Alien, Aliens Fireteam was very linear, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's, like, story. Like, yeah. we just, you just go through story missions but and this it's co-op. But this yeah. one is a little bit more. You guys would here's a map. Thing, you choose where you. Yeah, you, you you get a big map. Choose where you land on the map. You have objectives. There's and bonus is the, objectives. Is the goal experience or gear? Uh, experience. Okay, the it's goal money. is to level up. It's the goal money. is money. Because okay, so the goal is to 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 farm these pestering de not democracy hating for their money. To get money, which gotcha. you, you can buy. You can buy. Better things to call down. I'll switch right. Sorry. Sorry. More things to call down and like uh, better guns, kind of. Okay. You have to do codes too. Like... Yeah. Yeah, I did see all the. You the, see, the, so uh, to do to the summon, QTE stuff. yeah, to summon that stuff and hold down a button and you have to type this thing on your on your. Yeah, wrist. I, I saw that in some people, some folks' the streams. I was like, that's kind of a cool little mini game. I, I dig that. It reminds me of a uh, freaking Sabin from Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. 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 For sure. Are you talking about like summoning that laser from the sky, the, yeah. the yeah. hammer of and dawn? There's, there's, so, there's many different the versions. To do it, yeah, you yeah, literally yeah. pull up a menu and it's like up, down, left, right, A, B, 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 A. Yeah, that's um, that's a uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, uh, with Kenny. Oh God, you. Armageddon. No. What? There was. Talon Monks. Talon Monks. Talon Monks. Talon Monks. Yeah, you had to do the little code and go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and it's then just directional. Yeah, yeah, it's all directions and stuff like that. I remember that. Up, 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 down, left, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no buttons to it. It's just whatever. But the. Here's the crazy thing. Here's the crazy thing. You get your ship, right? And you get to name your ship, but it's like preset Dark Souls style, like this of that. Okay. And when you go down on the planet, you can look up in the sky and you'll see your ship in the atmosphere. Oh, that's cool. When you summon something, you see the ship literally send it to you. There's a ton of polish in on this In real ship. time. There's something like a ton. I just saw like the animations of characters running around and diving and moving, and I was yeah. like, dang. Even, it looks mad good. Even crazier, when you're on your ship and you go to like just the, the, the bridge to look out the window, the other all these other ships are hovering around the planet. Yeah. Those are real time. Wow. Those are other players' ships. Oh, wow. And what you the heck? That's cool as so you, can, you can see when they're they're shooting stuff down to the planet in their campaign. Did you what? see the clip I posted on Twitter of it where somebody's like, "This is literally robot Vietnam." No. Oh my god, I should pull it up. We probably get we probably get copyright flag for a moment. Nice. But it's like it, it'll sell you on the f game. It'll oh, like yeah? immediately sell you. Like, all right, this shit looks amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah. And no. When, and when 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 I was playing when it was really crowded, yeah, like. This one space above the planet was like full oh, of shit everywhere, and it was just like, oh my oh, god, just keep going. they're almost okay. they're just almost like on top battle. of each other. I'm like, yeah, these are other players. I'm like, holy I'm gonna, crap! I'm gonna pull up the clip because it genuinely like, I went from like, yeah, it sounds kind of cool, until a right. company moment where it's like, oh, this is your video game. It's lost. Right. Right. It's, it's super lost planet. You have like bugs, and they have like glowy spots. You have to shoot the glowy spots because otherwise they're armored or whatever. Yeah, I just got it started to make sure to run on my PC and run on stream. But I named my ship. What did you name your ship? Me? Yeah. My ship is called the Aegis of Destruction. Aegis? Mm -hmm. Nice. I went for the Hammer of Peace. <laughs> <laughs> my ship is called the Hammer of Peace. Mine, mine is... Edgy? No, you my, don't know me. Mine is the Fist of Justice. Fist, fist of, of Justice. justice. Yeah. Yeah. So, I almost went Fist. So yeah. check, check this shit out. That's the hammer of dawn. Just That's seeing it. all like There's the tracers and stuff, yeah, like of the too. bullets all over. The Look at this shit, dude. And this guy's diving. Fire, so we have to be careful with Simmons. Oh, there's no, friendly no, fire. I would, I'm good at friendly fire. You never have to worry about me. There's actually friendly fire. I would never. I would never actually hit someone. And there's the. Um, yeah, that's, like, that's like the basic one. No, the music uh, yeah, is from uh, yeah. Cop Terminator. No. Da, 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 da. no. This is from the other movie. It sounds like this might be from there's Robocop music, 2 or 3. There's music playing throughout the whole game. This is Starship Trooper music. Starship Trooper music. Yeah, 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 it's a Starship Trooper Well, Trooper. the thing is, it's not just Starship Troopers. It's right, it was Star everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it was like everywhere, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that and I was like, damn, dude. All right, this is this looks pretty fucking hype. <laughs> like, you know what's crazy? I actually saw like a, a, a chronological order of all the Starship Trooper movies that led, led up to like the last one. And now it's just CGI shit now. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, like well, Starship Troopers is all CGI movies now. Did it not become like CGI shit back when Roughnecks was a thing? Uh, I don't believe so. I think the like the latest show, right? No, I don't remember that so show. So Roughnecks was an old CGI Starship Trooper show from the early 2000s. What the heck? Yeah, I technically interned on it. No shit. Yeah, because ah. it was the same guys that made the Max Steel show. What were you? Uh, what were you? What was your? I position? was just I was an intern just working on like every little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. Learning like learning like placing stuff in sets and digital sets okay. and clean up cleaning up uh, rig animation for uh, mocap. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, Roughnecks was fucking cool though. No, like that shit. was a cool show. It was shockingly like. Mature, you yeah. know, it was it was a very it was better than you know some parts of even the movie. Uh, what station or was a, a it was like channel. on channel nine, dude? What the yeah, fuck? it was it was uh, in LA, it was like on channel nine. Holy shit, that was in prime yeah, time. Chad, Chad has a lot of good things to say about Roughnecks. It was a good show. Jeez, I wish I actually saw it. I never heard of it. Wojak has a tattoo of it. What Roughnecks? Yes. <laughs> he does have like a drop thing, like one of their like, he has like, a like a tattoo. hell diver tattoo yes, or something. He some has a roughneck tattoo. I never knew what that tattoo was. I just it's assumed rough, it was Starship a... Troopers Roughnecks. Holy Bojack, shit! Bojack, confirm. It's it's the Where is he? It's, it's the jetpack troopers from Roughnecks. Holy fuck! I didn't. I never. Bojack, knew Bojack, how old were you when you got that? Right? Like I never knew actually what it was. It reminds me of a Wooly having a. Reboot. reboot freaking tattoo. Ruli has a reboot tattoo? Ruli has a reboot tattoo. He loves that series. Damn, bro. Do we got any early CG adopters? Anybody have a uh, Transform Animals? What was it called? Beast Wars! Beast Wars. Beast Wars. I like Beast Wars! Beast Wars Transform Wars Animals. Great. I like Beast Wars. Yeah, it was the... Uh, what, what was the... The, the uh, other one was terrible. The, the Critical myth. Are you shitting me? Yeah, Beast Wars was great. Uh... The other one was terrible. What was it? Um, Beast Machines? Beast Machines, yeah, that was boring. And people love Animorphs. People love Beast Wars. And I, I don't... I I just like the robots and, and the cars more than animals. The cars? I like the I'm turning into cars and jets and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same way with Mega Man. I like the enemies in early Mega Man games instead of Mega Man X because everything's an animal. Uh, don't forget, on the Game Boy ones, uh, they were planets. They had yeah, they're, Mega Man yeah, 5 on Game Boy is a completely different game. Yeah, than Mega yeah. Man 5 on NES. It's not an amalgamation. You I don't remember that. I got Mega Man, yeah, like Mega Man 1 on Game Boy is like a weird hybrid of 2 and 3 or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Most of the they were hybrids, and that 5 is completely own, its own thing. Gotcha. We have to show Steve the uh, customization features. Do we? I already put in gift subs, Kenny. I'm not putting it anymore. So Kenny was all over this game because he wanted us to play it, but he's the only one playing it. So yeah. well, it is well, his birthday. We'd have to buy. We'd have to each buy it. Buy the we would game. have to each play for home. Oh, home. Yeah, okay, we gotcha. could play all of us together. So Kenny's just like showing it off and showing us like the reasons. Oh, why? Well, yeah. So what is the reason? Like you got to you sell players. us, sell us, Kenny. Imagine like a magical four-player adventure okay. where you like make choices and like the choices affect the game. So like if you like fuck up a choice and someone dies, they die forever. Like not your characters, but like other characters that you interact with, uh, it impacts the story. So it sounds like becoming human, where you have to become human. Honestly, just like human. It's, it's, it's yeah, think of it, human. think of it like. Wait, are you online right now? Who are those no. guys? No, they're just they're just. Oh, exactly. Okay, gotcha. Think of, I think the best way to sort of, I guess, describe it is like. Narratively speaking, mm -hmm. think of it like in terms of, of GTA where it's very open-ended on how you want to yes. approach Steve, a, a mm. given situation. Do you remember that one time mm. that we had a crazy magical adventure in an old-ass um, Elder Scrolls in, game? That one time in Bad Camp? Yes. It was in Bad Camp because it was on Xbox 360. Ah. And like you sat down and the thing went flying. We smacked some assholes. We were playing this ancient-ass RPG. We didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> But we kind of like made our own adventure about it. it this great. game is designed around that shit. Oh, just doing your own oh, just thing. Just like, go, yeah. go fuck around. Like, there, 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 is, the, there is like a full on narrative and story in this game, but like how you approach and respond and, and do everything is extremely open ended. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. It, it is it is very open on how you, you do everything in this so game. So this game would be extremely addicting if you wanted to go through everything. Because well, there's so much to go through. Everything. You can yeah. beat it multiple times. Right. You beat it completely different, different ways. Right, yeah. There's you different can, like, stuff like that. You know, you can, instead of like fighting, you can go to a place where you have to fight a bunch of people. But before you go in, you can poison the... Uh, the drink, like the 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 like the big bowl, and it changes the entire narrative. So then, right, right, right. So then, so all of a sudden, everyone's poisoned. There's a lot of positives here, but I will mention for anybody that's curious, the obvious negatives. 
For Simmons, it's a turn-based RPG. Oh. And it turns oh. Simmons away. Simmons isn't turned away from the D&D slash Lord of the Ringsy stuff. He kind of likes that shit. Yeah, I know that. They could get into it. Now, the issue with me and Steve is that the D&D Lord of the Ringsy shit is the stuff that we don't specifically jive with. Okay. Not, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say for Steve. The but setting like, The here. setting and the characters and the dark fantasy stuff is like... Yeah, it's not. A, it's just not really kind of the thing we're into, which right. has always been the thing that's turned me off of like D and D and shit. But you love Lord of the Rings, though. The movies are great. Okay. I, and here's the thing: I went into Lord of the Rings knowing nothing about it, oh. and not that it was that. Yeah, and no, I just love the movie. Oh, okay, so it's actually. So, am I like a massive Lord of the Rings fans? I'm not. Right, I'm, just, right. I'm not like a huge general like high fantasy. The kind one of thing I would say though that's different about me though that 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 is sort of, it's not a negative of the game. Oh, uh, the turn-based uh, stuff? No, no, well, what I'm going to say here, it's uh, not that this is negative of the game, which no one in chat will understand that after I say this, but... I don't, I'll, I'll interpret. I don't particularly love open-ended storytelling. I like... I like it when a story you has... You like a focused narrative. I like a focused narrative, but I like that... I'm really looking for... Someone has something to say. Damn, narrative. Solid Marine! Solid Marine! Not Very just good. like... I'm not look. I'm not a story that's full of twists. Twists is whatever. That, that's... Twist because is one, a twist is... A twist is shallow. A twist like, is shallow. It's, one, it's a one-trick pony. But once it's done, it's done. Right. I like... <laughs> I like focused narratives that have like... Okay, someone making this game like... I had something to say. Whether I agree with it or not, which is why you like near, like near exactly. is the best example. Exactly. Of There's a lot to say. And not only Chad's gonna cry grass at Warlords, like I'm hyper impressed by the open endedness of this game, but it's also something where I'm like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get as excited for open ended narrative because I'm just kind of like, well, it, then it feels like nothing's ever, like there was no. There's no actual finality. There's no finality. There was no. There was no authoritative intent. Yeah. Sure. Like, yeah. There is a very clear no, I don't think message. Be mad at that. Uh, there is a very clear message in Lord of the Rings, which is even the smallest person can change the course of history. Yeah, Frodo is not the guy. Aragorn's the guy. Everyone thinks he's the guy. He's the chosen one, but he's not. All he all he ends up being is a distraction because everyone, including the enemy, is hyper focused on him. Yeah, Frodo is a a random ass gardener. Yeah. From far away, who has no special abilities, his only special power is he's not he's not easily corruptible and greedy as hell. Yeah. Which was the point, which is like it's in Hobbits and Lord of the Rings. It's like this guy he just stood up when 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 the like the most the guy the the chosen one the superhero is supposed to do his superhero thing and everyone's afraid of of how to deal with it and whatever. I'm just gonna step up. It doesn't matter if I'm if sure. I don't I'm not fit. I'm not, you know, I'm you're, not super you're powerful, to make a I'm not super dis, charismatic. Despite, you know, despite all yeah. odds and adversity ahead of you, yeah. you're willing to stand up. Yeah, I will take the ring to Mordor. Yeah. I will do it. Like, I, even though and I And eventually, no the, the, the nice part of that story is that it's Sam. And Sam is, is the true, because Sam is just like, he's the bro. And even when, like, this guy's making the most noblest of sacrifices, and even when he's getting corrupted, Sam is like, you know what, I still got Unwavering. You. Yeah, I'm unwavering. I got your back no matter what. Yeah. No matter, we literally go to hell and back and I've got your back because, you know, he, he is the ultimate bro. Chad says you might be in trouble there, Kenny. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this red dude's pissed. Yeah, I think you might be a little... I just, oh, yeah. I just you get the heck out of there. Sam is the actual true hero of yeah. the story. Yeah, Jesus Frodo, Christ. Frodo Christ. does become, eventually become... Where's my bear? Where did your bear go? Where's your bear grills? So that's what I kind of like, and like, don't get me wrong, it's in, this is incredible what they're doing narratively speaking with the amount of voices and options. And, and like the, 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 the pathing, like right, once this happens, yeah. this affects that, this affects that, like, and that's the in, permutations yeah. of what can go to what is, is fucking crazy, that is mm -hmm. only matched by actual D&D. Right, it's crazy, it's amazing, but I, I don't, I don't get as, in, it's in a weird sort of way. I don't get as engaged in open-ended storytelling as I do in a hyper-focused narrative that has, like, a point it's trying yeah, to tell. Yeah, this game comes across as, like, a, a, a 2000s-era PC game with a shit ton of modern budget. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, it comes across as, like, Jesus, like, what the fuck was it? That that one game that, like, Microsoft put out. Not, not Baldur's Gate's obvious, right? But there was another one that was that everyone was crazy anticipating. Icewind Dale. Not Icewind. It was that's one. There was a different one. It wasn't Fable Chat. This was before that. Landscape Torment. Not Landscape Torment. We're getting there. Um, there was another one that people were crazy Dungeon excited Siege. about. 
Dungeon Siege. Dungeon it might have been Dungeon Siege. You played Dungeon Siege or tried I it. tried it, and it was like, yeah, it, it reminds me of that era, like the Dungeon yeah. Siege era of, like, PC gaming, where it was like, wow, like, you know, everyone's into this shit, and I'm going to give it a shot, and I'm like, this shit is not for me, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. I remember trying Dungeon Siege and being like, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's funny that we've gotten to the point where when we pick up a game and start playing it, Holy we know shit, if we like sorry. it or not. Like, like almost five immediately. Minutes. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's nuts that like we we can tell the things that. And I need know games to like, like in, engage me, right? Yeah. I need to, like I need like mechanics or your. Damn. Uh, I need like mechanics or your systems to like engage me to make me think or to make me like want to want to. Why do I want to continue playing? This? Why do I want to keep playing this? Is yeah. this going to be fun when I do it again? Like, yeah, yeah. What's the replayable? What's the replayable value? Is that, is that exactly? Right? Is that yeah. Right? Okay. And there's the there's there's, there's yeah. there is infinite like replay practically infinite replayability in this game. Right, 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 from right. What just what I've even just seen here with Kenny playing around. Max wants his fantasy role playing games to be more like Gauntlet Legends. Yeah. Fair, uh -huh. fair assessment to be real, like straightforward right. and kind of like like that. I, don't, I actually don't like all the in-depth fantasy storytelling stuff. I'm not really into it. Because, uh, obviously, I'm not into D&D. Yeah. So it's just, it, it has never resonated with me, you know? But Gauntlet Legends, straightforward, those Lord of the Rings, like, fucking games where you just yeah, run around whacking shit. Side character. character. Side character. I think that stuff's actually really cool. Dark Souls, you know, all things considered, kind of like that. Because there is no narrative with Dark Souls. There's no, like, unless you're like hyper focus Unless narrative. you're like a turbo nerd who's gonna piece together every single sure. bit of item description. And, and to be to be completely <laughs> honest... <laughs> no, he watched it. He watched yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty he sure. Didn't, I'm pretty he sure he turbo nerded did, his way through that whole entire game. He actually made the videos of Dark Souls <laughs> yeah, lore. Yeah, but he knew about it. He knew every single thing about the lore of Dark Souls. Hey man, he was turbo listen, nerding his way are through you that whole game. Saying Dark Souls with Bloodborne because uh, if you are, yeah, I'm gonna get pissed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a major are you saying, the story here's thing, here's thing. Are you saying you're not as enthralled with Dark Souls's actual narrative as opposed uh, like? Bloodborne. Oh, dude, I make fun of it. Oh. Like, I literally uh, I literally say that all the time, where it's like, I, my joke, my running joke, every time I play a Souls game, Elden Ring included, is that Bloodborne's story is, like, kind of relatively grounded and focused, even though it's, like, weird alien freak right, shit right, through right, the monsters. Yeah. But Dark Souls is, like, and I, I say this with the most respect possible, fire birthed a soul, and soul of man was birthed from that fire where he grew ash, but the ash of the tears of the flame of man once bore hand the muck, and from the muck goblins were born, but goblins could not teeter the fire of man. Now man cometh, man takes and goblins will be no more Dark Souls too. <laughs> like, I'm just like, Fuck. tarnished rise. <laughs> like, I'm just like, uh, sure. Something's uh, happening. And honestly, yeah. I feel the same way about Elden Ring. I'm uh, not even sure what... I'm What's not the even narrative? sure what George R. R. Martin was yeah. in there for. Fantasy word salad. Like, nice. yeah, this, yep. fantasy yeah. word salad. I'm just yeah. like, uh, I'm, che I'm checked out, bro. Yeah. It's Kingdom Hearts for dark fantasy. Nuts. Yes, pretty, I, I love that description. I kind of that's what I kind of Kingdom feel Hearts about it. for dark fantasy nuts. I love that description. So like, but when it comes to those games, I'm actually into the narrative you're getting from the world, like the story narrative, yeah. or like which is you're just looking at and interpreting. I like that, and I also love the goddamn gameplay. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, yeah, I just love that these worlds feel fucking real. Like it's I don't I don't know if I give a shit what's happening in a lot of them. But I just like the fact that this place feels like somebody thought about all this stuff, you know? Yeah. Why all these skeletons to are To be honest, I played a lot of Elden Ring. I beat Elden Ring. I beat it. Completely, on my own. You don't even care about the story. I don't I know what care. it I don't I even, know what it was. I don't even know what it was. Yeah, I, I don't know what the story of Elden Ring was. But I had a blast. I had a lot of fun playing the game. The game was fun. Discovering and stuff was fun. I have no idea what was... I, I, if you were to... Well, what's the story of Elden Ring? I have no effing clue. Yeah. I, I think I kind of love storytelling that doesn't involve somebody just talking your head off. I love that. I love it when like you just are in a place and you can feel like the history of like what happened. Oh yeah, environmental storytelling. Environmental is storytelling awesome. is top tier. I don't think it was that good in Elden Ring though. Um, um, when you start realizing a lot of the catacombs and a lot of the stuff It's is... weaker in Elden Ring than other games. For name sure. name yeah. some other games that have environmental storytelling. Bloodborne. It's like the best. To be real, Bloodborne's like the game. Outside of those games. Ah, fuck. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, uh, environmental storytelling. Yeah. I mean, Hades is really good for that. Liza P is amazing. Oh, yeah. Liza, yeah. P. Liza P is Definitely really great. good for that. Liza P. Um, Metroid. Metroid. There you go. Metroid. There you go. Super That's a good Metroid call. was That's a really good, call. good oh, with for that. for sure. That's a great call. Um, and also Metroid, uh, the, the new one. Jesus Christ, what was it called? 
What's the new Dread. Metroid? Metroid Dread. Great. Fantastic about that. Mm -hmm. Shadow of the Colossus. Incredible. There you go. There's the God. Colossus. Yeah, that's no, a fantastic. It tells you nothing. Probably the top tier of that. Super top tier. Yeah, yeah, is, is Shadow of Colossus. So yeah, those games are amazing at that. Like, don't don't sit here and just preach to me shit. Let me just go experience, just experience it. Yeah, no, Shadow of Colossus is a really good uh, uh, call on that. Swoosh of the ass Last club. of Us? I don't know. There's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of I, I, would, I, would, I would not call that, I would not call that, like, environmental Real storytelling. storytelling. There's a there lot There is of some dialogue. of it. There is environmental storytelling in the game, yes, but it is not a game that's story is primarily told. Through. Oh my god! Environmental uh, storytelling. Game over. PT. Yeah, scorn. Yeah. PT is great. Def definitely PT's scorn. PT. PT doesn't ham you up with its story, story but it's all just little pieces to get you going. The little parts and stuff about the stuff, but like you go through that entire thing. To be real, scorn. Scorn is actually a great example. Yeah, scorn. Scorn is nothing but environmental storytelling. Scorn rhyme. Got outs to rhyme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Hundred percent by Silent Hill Returnal. Oh fuck you, Returnal. Holy shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Returnal is that's one of Returnal's main things. To be honest, even like Monster Hunter was that way. Even Monster Hunter like World, what they do with the environments in that game are pretty fucking. The crazy. thing is that even though all, all I, the I, monsters I, relate to every environment, I, I agree with what you're saying. The the story of the the storytelling of those environments didn't. Uh, I, I oh. didn't get it. Yeah, I don't get me don't get me wrong. Yeah. I think I think more of it's like. I, I can feel like this place is real, ah, you know, okay, and, okay. So it's, it's, I'm building a story in my head type of thing instead of the narrative like that they are trying to pitch yeah. to me, the plot, because the plot is bullshit. The plot is oh, like, Oh, what is that one that you and uh, Jessica liked? The little bunny character. Oh, goddamn Ori. Yeah, there yeah, you that's go. a great example too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good example. Yeah, Elden Ring had moments of, of really cool storytelling, like uh, when you go to the... Um, when you go in dungeons, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, uh, mm. Mel Melania, when you go oh, on the way to fight her, yep. when you're in the, the big city at the top and you see the dragon corpse yep. like, crash in and zim. Like, that stuff's all really cool. Pretty incredible. That was a great scene with him. I would honestly say, um, I feel like Symphony of the Night is also just environmental Not bad for the time, really. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Oh my God. I would like Soden so much I more, but I didn't have to do so much backtracking. The the latest um, uh, Castlevania anime. Nocturne. Yeah, Nocturne. How is it? Uh, it is very slow until the end. The end is really fucking cool, but um, yeah, most of it's pretty damn slow. It's all build up. It's all build. Well, I mean, to be honest, a lot of the Castlevania um, seasons were just all build up. Yeah. 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 Pretty much saving their money until That's the fine. end. Yeah. No rest for the wicked. Yeah. Caleb, I don't know. Okay, Caleb is Satan's, as I call it, Satan's rotten asshole, or Ohio. Uh, okay, this land got rotted. It corrupted. From who? About what? Over what? I I couldn't tell you. I have no idea what's going on. I, I couldn't tell you why why Caleb is... Why Caleb looks like Ohio... I don't know. Um, something bad to happen. Oh, fuck. That's another great example. Doom, Doom. 2016. Yeah. Doom. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Environmental storytelling all over the place. Yeah. It's great. Millennia nuked it? Sure. I Because it told you that somewhere in the game, I guess. I don't know. You don't have to read some knife that you found on the ground off some yeah. dickhead that's yeah. unique to and only he, that and guy. And even knowing that, does that mean... Yeah, because that's right. Millennia was like the rotted or whatever queen of the rotted. Like, does that... What, does that does that make does that make the story interesting to me? Not really. Yeah, I think I, there was something in the Elden Ring story that made it kind of fascinating to me, and then that was it. And no, none of the other parts of it were like. You find that from fighting her? No, you don't. <laughs> she says some word salad shit and you kill her. Like yeah, Radon and her had like a bad breakup or something. Like Radon was cheating on her or. Some shit, and then so she, she, I guess I don't fucking know. Like, hmm. <laughs> whatever. Oh, Mirror's Edge. I remember beating that and having a blast at the environment. They're literally cousins. Well, like that would stop George R. R. Martin from a romance. You think? Are you kidding? <laughs> See, uh, like, I mean, and to be completely honest, like OG Final Fantasy VII is really good at that too. Like, its environments tell a ton of story. Like, really lived in and like. This place feels like it's been here forever. As an RPG, though? Yeah. An I mean, RPG that has nothing but environments. That's interesting. It's FF7 had like all these. It was like one of the first games to have big CG backgrounds, right? So they were they were telling a lot of story uh, with those backgrounds. It's actually a pretty decent example. Midgar is like a great example of like environmental storytelling. Hmm. Eisen, thank you. Uh, I, uh, um, 
I, I know what you mean, Simmons, when you say that you don't like games that, that have yes. like that particular story that just goes all over the place. Well, I think that only open, works open, for well, in, in this one, it's it's very much kind of like it's so it's it's D, it is a literal D and D campaign. Yeah. So it is choose your own adventure. You're, you're choosing responses and actions all the time. So yeah. there's no like set way to go through this. I will say one thing. HXC, thank you. Um, I will say one thing, and one thing that sort of did give me extreme motivation to continue the story and get to its finality, mm. even though I played it several times, but I knew about the ending and like which ending are you gonna get, mm. was Chrono Trigger. This that guy. got me. When it was like, there's like six endings, and I'm like, oh. So like, that was a, that was a part of it that was just like. There's really, it's really not though. It, it, the thing is that after you beat it the first time, you are more engaged to try to figure out what other the, aspects can well, actually happen with different characters. The endings are less about, it's so much less about, oh, like, oh, there's these different endings, you know? Right. And it's that's not about, it's, I, don't, it's, I don't know the actual endings themselves, but hearing, like, there's six endings sort of kind of turns you off. It's, I, it's, understand. It's, I understand. It's, but, but it's not you're like... You're seeing it from a, a different It's not like you play the game through different times. The, most of the different endings are just... What if you killed the bad guy using this character at this point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or because you can you can fight lava super early, right? Yes. So it's yeah. less about like how the story is just like so open ended. It's like no, well, what if, well, what if I had, what if I was just high enough level to kill him now? Sure. And don't forget the time travel. You can kill him in different times, and if you kill him in a different in, eras. in certain eras, it actually changes the story as well. Yeah. So yeah, I guess somebody said like thirteen endings. So yeah, there was there was a lot of endings, but. That didn't um, change the narrative of, of how you played the game and how, what your characters went through. And the I think point, yeah, the, 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 the main crux of the story doesn't really change. Yeah, it's exactly. like thirty years old at this point. I think the furthest I ever got in the story is you uh, went to the. I, I actually saw you. I think you went to the um, the the cave area. Uh, the, what's her name? Uh, you went to the past. You were in the prehistoric area, and then you you sort of lost. I remember getting past that at some point, and maybe not that playthrough, yeah. but maybe a different one, because I do remember getting to a point where Chrono dies. Yeah, okay. And okay. then, uh, what's his name? Elf dude. Yeah. Uh, Magus, Magus comes is in. in your party. He, like, replaces him. Yeah, well, yeah. that's that's another thing, too, because you can actually choose to... Not get him. Not get him. Not get him. Ah, oh, okay. Not. And that changes the story of the ending as well. So... Well, the main crux of Chrono Trigger is basically a alien life form 65 million years ago smashed into the planet. Unique story. <laughs> Hear me out here. It is, <laughs> it's a parasite, basically. It's, All right. Okay. Um, but it needs to, like, basically dig into the... It has to, like, hibernate into the core of the planet. Right. So, <laughs> some point sorry. after there's Age of Antiquity, where the hyper-advanced civilization of the time wants to basically harness the power of this alien creature. Okay. For, you know, for its own nefarious ends. <laughs> Um, oh, Why you miss? There is a, there is a, a, a. I think Max should do. Max a should. girl Max should basically gets sacrificed in this whole experimentation thing, and that's Magus's sister. Um, and it's their mother that that becomes obsessed with, like harnessing the power of Lavos or whatever, gotcha. or like using it for her own selfish ends. Uh, and and really, it, it, the whole point of the game is that Lavos... Yeah, Shala. Yeah, okay, Shala. That, that name sounds familiar. So Shala. I remember, I remember yeah. hearing that story. And, and the, the whole crux is that in, in 1999, Lavos will will emerge from the Earth that and, and basically ravage the planet. Yeah. Um, and then it, the whole point is like it's going to ravage all life of the planet and then it's going to skip to the next planet. The distant future of 1999. Yeah. Well, that's not even the distant future. Distant future is after that at some point. Yeah. I forget. But it's like and that's, that's ruined Earth future. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the whole, like, Magus' this whole thing is he just wants to save his sister. Because she gets basically absorbed into Lavos. Ah, uh, I see. Um, and that's his whole thing. And then, like, you can get him on your party, basically, as, like, as, as a sort of means, like, hey, look, we're not, we're not actually, like, all that, at, at, at all that different, you know, odds of each other. So, chat, if it isn't clear, the same people that made Chrono Trigger made Final Fantasy VII, mm -hmm. wrote it, and, like, worked on it. Mm -hmm. yep. So, if it isn't clear, and, and there's several other games around the same time frame that the same people wrote and, like, directed and made that have, like, the same fucking story yeah. about some alien thing crashing on the planet and being, like, the thing, you know, stuck in some ice rock. Yeah. It's the same... All which these is, games are the same shit. Which is strange to me though, of how you love Final Fantasy so much, but Chrono Trigger just throws you all like, like So, uh, and, and do you know why? Mm. The, the immediate turnoff of Chrono Trigger, for me, was mm. the box art. 
because I didn't like the Dragon Ball art style very much. Huh. So Akira Toriyama's default art style, to, to me, I like kind of aggressively did not like it, and huh. I scoffed at it. Even though, in-game, there's almost like no reference right. to the outside of that. Yeah, no, no, it's, there really isn't. It's the same thing with uh, Street Fighter and that weird box exactly. art that they have. Yeah, I mean, don't like, get me wrong, nothing but like my, my internal, like, sort of like, early... Bias uh, brain. We're talking like, yeah, 10-year-old bias kicks in of just like, oh, I don't like Akira, I don't like that artwork that much. You know what, we were all like that, you wanna know why? Uh, console Wars. It yeah, turned sure. our brains into this, like, oh, well, it can only be black or white. And yeah. it's like, oh, it's from that thing? Oh, ugh, I don't want to talk about that. I'm, I'm going like to throw, throw back at you right now, Chad. Xenogear's story is not like Seven or Chrono Trigger at all. No, I don't go that way. Like, in the vaguest of terms, sort of, kind of, but not really. Uh, there is not an alien parasite in Xenogears. It's, it, is, it, is a, it is the makings of, human, of humans' own design. Uh, the the Xeno Gears story is closer to Seventh Cross Evolution. Yeah. <laughs> to be real, <laughs> a man mm, is playing God. Not 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 wrong. Not necessarily. That dude, that blew my mind. What Seventh Cross Evolution story actually like, was? What, what actually was? I was kind of fucking. I'm like, no fucking way. <laughs> what am I looking at, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna do this battle, and then we're gonna go Power Stone. I'm gonna pick up these popcorn things. Yeah, I got half of them over there. So Thank you. They're good. Ripley. That's funny. She's like, surprise! Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think linear storytelling works, but I also think that um, a, a more broader storytelling works in specific games. Yeah. Like, I, I think it, um, for me personally, it worked with um, uh, State of Decay. Like, State of Decay doesn't have a particular one sided story, it is a story of all of these characters that you build in order to have them fortify their base or whatever in order to survive the zombie apocalypse. So, um, in that aspect, it's kind of cool to get the narrative of each character. So the characters make the story. The characters yeah, make the story that, because that's, you, you that's build them part. as as they um, you know become a little and bit more this fortified. This game so. is multiplayer. You can go through four all players. of this game with with, with four with players. Four players. Right, yeah, I know. That's and you can all thing. be making crazy decisions, campaign decisions, and stuff right, like right. that. So the problem is, the problem is like... you have to be a little elf. No, you, 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 well, no, no, Steve, Steve is echoing the sentiment that you know yeah. keeps me away from it. Well, it's, it's, a be... it's literally the reason why he didn't play Corner Triggers, because he saw a, one thing and was like, a, yeah, no. A little goofy goblin. Yeah, you're gonna be a little goofy. No, you create bit. a character. You can be whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You should take a look. We should show Steve what you can be. Yeah. Yeah, we should and show what you and what you can do. Yeah, I, I, can, I can be anything. Show let me, Steve. Let me the see hair. the. Let me see the hairstyles. All right, let's go back. Show him the hair. Let me see the hairstyles. Show him all the different hairstyles. Yeah, let me see those hairstyles. She told me. Think of it as. Bang. As long I can assure we all have. Oh, oh god, this is important, but... Oh wow. <laughs> oh god, this okay. is important. Okay. Kenny, you can take your time, it's your birthday, it's fine. Uh, exactly. Oh, we got... Uh, should, I, should I order tacos? Yeah. Nah. Okay. Mm. Why does everyone have such fantastic hair in this game? Yeah. yeah. Bullshit. Let me see that hair. See how diverse they get here. Gorlac. Yeah, that's Gorlac. That's what Gorlac looks like. <laughs> I made them. I could make. I was gonna do a run where I was gonna make each and every one of you guys in the game, and then we're gonna have special armor. So then, why did you do it? Special armor. Show them the hairstyles. I mean, I can. I can make Steve, and I can give Steve the special armor. Mm -hmm. Steve chuckles. Uh, yeah. The forbidden hairstyle. The forbidden oh, hairstyles. Yeah. How were the fighting games around one? Were they functional? Oh, they're good. Yeah, yeah. Were the, were the sticks there, there actually working? There was some guy, there's a guy who actually. Marbles. So there's a USB in the the terminal or in the, the cabinet fighter. that you can actually plug in your USB For and play. Five, six, six. It was there. Six they had Street Fighter Six Arcade Edition. Yes, yes, it was there. The fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And they were. Joy was whooping ass. Yeah. Like it was pretty serious. Yeah, and there was a guy playing Street Fighter Six on a on a on a hitbox. Yeah, on a hitbox. He actually plugged, plugged in his in. hitbox. He into plugged the in his hitbox. Wow, play. it was crazy. Damn, that's actually kind of sick, bro. I I would have actually played that guy, but I was too busy whooping Kenny's ass in basketball. It was crazy. Damn. It was so easy. Yeah. Real yeah. life basketball. basketball. Yeah, yeah. They're real life basketball. Yeah, real life basketball. <laughs> well, actually, no. It was literally because they had actually a full oh, size yeah. hoop. Yeah, yeah. That didn't register the the, the, the Dude, shots. It was I got so there is an old basketball story that Steve had of some crazy X Files moment he remembered, 
that he told on the stream a long time ago that I confused myself that I was actually there playing basketball with you guys, but I don't know if that was actually, if I was actually there. I don't think I was. Okay. There was some story that Steve had. Do you remember this shit, Chad? Bork. Where Steve was like, I can't, like, something happened where, like, a person was not there, and then they suddenly were there, like, like it was a glitch in the Matrix type shit. Well, oh, yeah, Kenny, that was... Kenny's yeah. basketball story. Yeah, that was Kenny's basketball story. Was it Kenny's basketball story? No, it was Steve's yeah, basketball story. So we were right. playing basketball, yeah. and then I was in the car, and well, then... It, you, we were playing basketball, you left the basketball at the park. Yeah. So it was already nighttime, and the basketball was still at the park, so we... So I said, okay, I'll just follow you, because I came in later. So I was like, okay, I'll follow you guys. The, you guys drove to the park, and the park is on the right. Uh, Kenny and the guys, they 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 drove up on the, the curve first, and I drove up behind them. They're still in the car. I could see the lights of the car. Uh -huh. The uh, the the um, the car's still running, and all of a sudden I hear some noise from the park. And it's very dark, and I'm like, who the hell is at the oh, park at this night? So I turn around to look at the, uh, the, the the figures, and I see figures coming from the park. It's literally Kenny and the guys bringing back the basketball from the park. Uh -huh. So then I turn it back and look at the car. The lights are off and nobody's in the car. I'm losing my goddamn mind. How the fuck did they get out of the car, into the park, get the basketball, and come back as soon as they parked the car? Sure. Oh. Yeah. It's a glitch in the matrix. I'm calling Kenny and losing it. Because I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, you guys never got out of the car. You're still in the car. Yeah. And you came back from the darkness in the park from with the, the basketball. And I'm like, how is this possible? It's a fucking glitch in the Matrix. Something's wrong. And Kitty's like, yeah, okay, sure. All right, I'm just going to hang up now. And I'm fucking losing it in the car because I'm the only one that witnessed this. Well, Kenny refuses to acknowledge it because if you, oh. if you knew what happened, the reality would be broken. Right. So he can't acknowledge he it. He can't acknowledge yeah. it. He completely... No, the fabric of reality... He's part of it. Would he's be part of the he's fucking... Of, yeah, he's exactly. Of exactly. The fucking right? Mr. That's Smith exactly over it. here. He's him, in on it. Him, Trent, and uh, our older brother... They're all in on it. Other buddy was Bacon, right? Was Bacon there? No, it was... Um, yeah, yeah. It, it was, might have been Koo. Koo was there. Koo, yeah, yeah. yeah. Motherfuckers, like, because uh, I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll combo Damn, because I didn't want it. Better. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was like, yeah, okay, I'm just going to park. Car Matter stopped. Moment. Right there, car stopped. The engine's still running. I'm like, oh, what's this noise? Look over there. And they're coming from <laughs> the court. <laughs> they're coming from the court. And I turn around and look at the. I'm like, what? And I turn around and look at the car. Car is off. Nobody's in there. And they're coming from the thing. And I'm like... This can't be fucking real. So what did, real. what did you eat that night? No, it has nothing to do with what I ate. It had nothing, <laughs> to, do with it. nothing to do with that. It was so I think good. I confused it with somebody else I went to the courts with mm -hmm. in, in like the in the valley. Yeah, and I was like, was I there for that? I confused that with a different memory of mine. Mm. So I was like, I was not there for this. No, no, no. What? The uh, but I remember fuck? the story. All right, Steve, so choose your hairstyle. What did I just see? No, I didn't see anything. Choose your hairstyle. Okay. <laughs> Kenny, what did you do? Nothing. Kenny, I, I'm not on the BRB screen. Over no, here. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You better put it on real quick. Jesus. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, here. Terrible right. fucking hairstyle. All right. So uh, I had a bet where I was like, how many different options do you have in this? And Kenny, I'll put in 50 gift subs per option. And I owed the chat 100 gift subs. Oh, geez. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this right now. Steve, which one are you going to pick? Here, which one are you gonna pick? I have the clothes, okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Steve. <laughs> which one? She's like, Steve, are you a penis B kind Steve, of guy? Do you, do you want or penis do you want, a? Do you want a lot of happy trail there? Why is this in the game? Oh, penis oh, C kind of guy? Why is this are part you, of the game? Manscaped? Do you like the Brazilian? It moves? Do you like the, do you like the manscaped? It moves. What? No, 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 manscaped? Maybe there's a happy face? Why is there so much detail? Manscaped, like you know, oh Odash my Mal. god! Hold on, hold on, hold on, because this is this is cut, okay? This is uh, this is the, the special half off. Um, the half off? I mean, yeah, the special half off. What in the? It's, or, or 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 do you want the straight Virginia? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you can go seventy style, eighties. Oh. Okay, so that's a muff right there. Okay, I, yeah, I am. that's why it's called Muffin Man. Oh, oh that's call him A, call him B. All right, okay, little, oh my god, the wiggle. <laughs> the wiggle. Why is the wiggle, the wiggle there? there? Oh my, my, uh, my eyes, bro. It's, why? Okay, <laughs> soap. Yes, there it's, we go. All right. Circumcised. Why did it, hold on though. Why did it change? What were you on before? 
where the hairstyle was between hair or ball hair. Yeah, it was either Why was one hair. of them about ball hair? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you know what this kind of reminds me of? <laughs> Resident Evil 4 Remake that weird fucking monster where the ass jiggles. I don't know why they have the fucking booty jiggle. Oh, you Bruce mean so Bruce the, the Regenerators? Yes, the Regenerators. The booties jiggle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking so Bruce Lee was like... up regens. Because I was looking at the, the, the character the models cake. and so Bruce yeah. Lee is like, you need to go to the Regenerator. I'm like, I don't need yeah, check to... Out, check out the cake. Check out that. I was like, look at it. And I'm like, what are you talking There's about? There's only one Just other game where I actively noticed ass jiggle for the first time and it's Soul Calibur 1. Two. So Calibur One was it on one? Dreamcast, Ivy's butt jiggles. Oh, I thought it was Taki. And I think Taki's butt also jiggles. Yeah. Like they actively have ass jiggle. But here's the thing: so does Astaroth. Astaroth's legs and his butt like jiggle. Look at because... the cake on this thing, Steve. <laughs> not enough cake. cake. Not, not enough. It's not enough cake. Wait, you know why? Cause here. Oh yeah. There you go. There you go. You see the thickness on the sides? Yeah, on the sides. There, there you go. go. See, it's a That's dragon cake. cake. That's some pretty big cake right there. There's nothing there. This is like only one step away from Mystique. One step. Right? You do understand, chat, that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to have twerking in there, and they are going to have physics Grand happening Theft with that shit. Grand There's going to be BBL. GTA 6 is, is going to give you... But hair options. Hair options. But hair. Physical ones. Each one. Yes. You have to decide. You will have to decide how much well, ass, ass hair, hair you want on your has. characters. This doesn't jiggle. That is going to be detailed. How much ass hair do you have? That is going to be it detailed. It will affect the story. That is going to be very important to the story. That is actually going to change oh, the story. Are you going to have tails? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, purple stuff. Look at that. Look at that sexy smile. There was that funny right video where they were like, how Rockstar like, devs been spending all the last years. So like, all right, look at, look at, look at, look at the booty on the chick on the car. All right, all right. What are you working on over? You guys need to get to work. You're like, oh god damn. Oh god damn. And there's just like this chain of people at Rockstar. Like, what are you guys doing? You should have been done with it. Oh my god. Like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so we we don't have any uh, physics on the uh, uh, the lizard monsters here. We we don't have any. You know, it was an RDC oh, World like, video. In, um, yeah, I, I, was, I, I was rolling on that on one. Yeah, Man, yeah. am I gonna have to play that game? I think the only the only, okay. So here's the thing: the only way I'm not gonna try Grand Theft Auto Six at least mm -hmm. is if Monster Hunter's out around the same time. Ah, and I will. I'll be like, yeah, sorry, Chad. I'm just not gonna do it. But if like nothing else is around out at out at that same time, I'll actually try it. Of course. Here's the thing: I tried GTA Five and just didn't get into it. Okay. I tried GTA Four, just couldn't grab me. I went to oh, one just go bowling, and I was like, oh fucking. I totally, I totally get it. I totally get it. You wanted. Um, I totally get it. You want to know why, Max? Huh. Because all of us tried Red Dead Redemption 2, yes. and what the hell happened? And we all stopped. And we all stopped. We all stopped. I got so, the farthest, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm at least, like, fascinated because of just sheer scale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. And it's... It, Look how it's, happy she is. Yeah, and it's a lot more... Oh, God. And it's, like, it looks like it's stuck together. Like, stuck what's together. It? What is Reptilian? We're a dragon. That's true. The Reptilian this, version. This is part of the game. We're okay. This is my Twitch TOS. Oh, fine. okay. Good, good. So, we're, you know... We're, this is fine for Twitch TOS. Look, see, okay, they're smiling at us. Kay so they so, know we're watching. Kay is very lucky. It's yeah. I wish it. I did it. You I'm know what? I'm just, dis I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just disappointed it's not Conan. Yeah. You don't have Conan level options. That is great. Okay. All right. Right, well, What's next, Kenny, for Christ? Power like, Stone 2. This that game is, looks very nice. This very, Baldur's Gate 3 game. We did it, Chad. I have to, to appreciate the like detail. Magic, like, you know, like, Steve be a wizard, Max be a barbarian, and Simmons be, like, an assassin, and I'll be the bard. That might happen. We go on a magical quest so here's the, four players. The only, the only issue here is that this game is a great little yeah. four-player mystical adventure. No. The problem is Helldivers 2 exists yes. now. And that is like the ultimate yo video games four-player. Oh, yeah. Let's go shoot some bugs. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck Kenny up right now. Mm. Kenny. Yeah. If we played this game together as a group, would we have more fun playing this or um Lethal Company? I mean Lethal Company is there you it's, go. it's just the blast. Yeah, Lethal Company but the is thing a is, sweet spot. Man. There you yeah, go. it's a sweet spot. But like yeah. this thing you just like do crazy stuff. Like I you you just saw me mostly doing the battling, but we can go to the towns and like, you know, like cause ruckus. interactions. Yeah, cause a ruckus. Yeah, yeah. Go through Lethal yeah. Company is almost unfair because yeah. like first time experiences in that game is goddamn magical. Yeah. It's like, whoa, dude, this is unlike goddamn anything that's out there. 
restroom.